What if the first human wasn't really human at all? Imagine bumping into a hairy, slightly hunched creature in ancient Africa. He's carrying a rock, grunting at his friend, and hold up, is that guy making a knife? Congratulations, you've just met Homo habilis, a creature that's half monkey, half mystery, and 100% confusing even to the experts. Roughly 2.4 million years ago, somewhere in what's now Tanzania, a brain slightly larger than a chimps decided to smash a rock against another rock. The result? The world's first sharp tool, and possibly the world's first workplace accident. That rock changed everything. With it, Homo habilis could cut, crack, pry, and poke. Suddenly, bone marrow was on the menu, scavenged meat was no longer off-limits, and hungry saber-toothed cats? Well, they were still terrifying, but at least now our ancestor could fight back. Kind of, this wasn't your average caveman. Homo habilis wasn't tall or mighty. He stood around four feet, had long arms, a small face, and let's be honest, probably smelled like a wet dog after a mud bath. But what he lacked in looks, he made up for with a shocking superpower, curiosity. The kind of curiosity that leads you to invent things or poke a lion with a stick just to see what happens. Paleontologists still argue whether Homo habilis truly deserves the title first human. Some say he was more ape than man. Others argue his tool-making brain means he passed the audition for Team Homo. But what's clear is that habilis, Latin for handy, earned his name for a reason. Those stone flakes weren't just survival tools. They were status symbols, like having the latest smartphone, except your apps were stab and scrape, and he wasn't alone. Living alongside Homo habilis was a whole zoo of prehistoric chaos. Massive hyenas with jaws that could crush bones like popcorn, giant pigs with tusks longer than your arm, and Dinophelis, a saber-toothed feline who probably thought Homo habilis looked like a mid-sized snack with opposable thumbs. Add to that the thick-jawed Paranthropus, a cousin species with the brain of a walnut and the jaw of a bulldozer, great this for chewing do. roots, not so great for innovation. They were strong, sure. But evolution doesn't care how hard you can chew bamboo if you can't think your way out of trouble. So what happened to habilis? Some scientists think they were outcompete by Homo erectus, the tall, fire-making, world-traveling upgrade. Others suggest that habilis didn't vanish, they evolved. Into us. Which raises a juicy question. What if we're all just really, really sophisticated rock smashers with Wi-Fi? The fossils don't say much. But one thing's for sure. That awkward little creature squatting in the dirt two million years ago? He took the first real step toward becoming you. He didn't build cities or write poetry or invent bubble tea. But he dared to think differently. And that's the most human thing of all. So next time you pick up a rock, just remember... You owe your opposable thumbs and questionable decisions to a sweaty little innovator with bedhead and a dream. And if you thought Homo habilis was wild, wait until you meet the ones who started walking upright, cooking meat, and possibly inventing fashion from tree bark. Subscribe, like, and share so you don't miss what comes next.